local news now, a bittersweet homecoming for hundreds of sailors on board the USS Clackreen. Their six-month deployment ended this morning when they returned to Naval Station Mayport to the warm embraces of family and friends. You know, it was the final time, however, that this emotional tradition would take place. The Navy is decommissioning the ship after nearly 30 years of service. Shadow Force Tomasi Aaron spoke to crew and family about this historic return. For these sailors, these embraces were six months in the making. They returned to familiar faces, and in John Weichel's case, new faces. This is the first time he saw his son, Caleb. This is my new son, my other son, my beautiful wife. He's glad to be home. Can't wait to spend more time with him. Family and friends lined the gates and waited anxiously with posters and signs for the ship to arrive. Oh, we're super excited because we've only got to talk to him on the phone like one time since he's been gone, so we're very excited, aren't we? Yeah! Janet Hall married her husband just weeks before he deployed and says for newlyweds, the separation is tough. We email pretty much daily, but um, I still feel like the communication is pretty limited, so it's been really hard. She says that's what made seeing him so special. Many families said they have special plans now that the sailors are back home, but for the USS Clackron, its sailing days are over. It'll be decommissioned next year, but the ship's commander says he couldn't be more proud. When I took command uh, about two years ago, I asked the crew uh, to go out on top and to save the uh, best crew for last, and they've delivered uh, at every turn. Now, these sailors say they're focused on home and enjoying family and friends. At Naval Station Mayport, Kumasi Aaron, Channel 4, the local station. And the USS Clackering is named after Rear Admiral Thomas Clackering. He was a daring World War II submarine commander. That ship was built at Bath Ironworks, Maine, back in 1983.